In this tutorial, we are going to make a head and shoulders pattern, a specific chart formation that predicts a bullish to bearish trend reversal. In technical analysis, this pattern resembles a baseline with three peaks. The outside two are close in height and the middle is highest. The head and shoulders pattern is believed to be one of the most reliable trend reversal patterns. Keep on watching this video to learn how to build the head and shoulders pattern without coding in TSLAB. Let's look at a more complex situation and try to resolve a problem that is not easily done in algorithmic trading. We are going to make the so-called head and shoulders pattern that is usually traded manually. First, we need to find it on the chart to better understand what we need to program. It looks like there is something here. The price was rising, then a shoulder appeared. Or rather, that's how it's going to be. Here is a shoulder, the head and the second shoulder. Then the price went lower. Let's try to describe this situation. How can this be done? Well, we can try to take the usual fractals and compare the highs of the last fractal with the previous one. This one should be lower than that, and here the fractal should also be lower than this fractal. We can also set a distance between the fractal's highs. But there could be a problem. Why? Because there are still small fractals inside that will distort the overall picture. Basically, it would not be possible to program the ideal pattern in practice. How can we solve this problem? You may recall that we have a fractal by any data block, and with it we can build a fractal on any data. We will build a fractal not by candlestick highs, but by the average data. For example, we will take a simple moving average, SMA, and we will set a period of, uh, let's say, 50 candles. We will display it on the chart so that it's more visible and easier to understand. I will make the line darker. Note that we will not display the fractal on the chart yet. Here we see the situations that we were talking about. A lot of small fractals appeared here. So when we take the average data using the SMA, we will get a fractal right here and here. Notice that we have a forming head and shoulders pattern here. As you can see, it makes it much easier to describe the pattern using the SMA. First, we are going to need three fractals to describe the three elements of the pattern. A left shoulder, a head and a right shoulder. It is important that all blocks have the same parameters. And parameters can be linked to simplify things. To do this, we will get the one to many linked parameters block. We will connect it and add another such block. We will also need to bind the sizes. This will be the right side. And that will be the left side. Fractals will only differ in values. There will be the current, previous and pre-previous value. The current fractal will be the right shoulder, marked with the letter R. The previous fractal will be the head, marked with the letter H. Before the previous fractal, minus 2 will be the left shoulder, marked with the letter L. We got three fractals. Next, we will display the current fractal on the chart. Now, we will compare this value with these values. We can even make fractals with a larger number of candles to reduce market noise. To start, we can take 10 or even 20 candles. OK. We can actually further increase the number of candles to 30. That's better. 
Let's have a look. Here we have a head and the shoulders are below it. The price is $9,907. Here the price is $9,809. Note that the difference is between $100 and $150. We will take a Boolean expression block and write the following expression. The head H is larger than the left shoulder L and the head H is larger than the right shoulder R. This is a simple way of doing it if we do not want to set optimized parameters. Let's put it on the chart. Here we have our pattern formed and a histogram appeared here to confirm the formation of the head and shoulders pattern. We can also observe that a strange pattern appeared on the second histogram. Why? Because here, in principle, there is also the head and shoulders pattern. It turns out that in addition to the fact that the head should be above the shoulders, we need to set another parameter. How much should the difference between the value of the head and shoulders be? For starters, the distance should not be too small, as it turned out here. Likewise, the distance should not be too large, as it turned out there. Ideally, it will have to be no more than $100 and $150, or even between $50 and $150. These parameters can be optimized for a specific instrument and market. We just need to show the principle. Therefore, we need to add that the difference between these two values should be more than $50, but less than $150. We will also state the same condition for the right shoulder. Copy, paste. OK, check it out. On the chart, we can see that the second signal was filtered out and disappeared. But here, everything works well as it should. In this situation, we can also see a pattern. A shoulder, a head and another shoulder. Then a signal appeared in the form of a histogram. Alright, we hope you now understand the mechanics better. That's all for now. In the next video, we will look at divergence that is frequently cited as a reason for trend reversals. Does it work for you? Share your thoughts, post comments and likes. As usual, the full package of 10 Custom Indicators Alga Trading Lab is available for free to our students of Alga Trading with CS Lab course, selected plans only. Check out the details on our website. To claim your free indicators from the package, check the link below the video. Like our tutorials? Please subscribe to our channel. Just click the button on the screen. You can receive instant updates, view activities, ratings and comments. Thank you for watching.